yet again another day of us meeting together in the presence of, of the Lord. Greetings to each and every one of you and I am so happy and so blessed to be in the midst of each and every one of you. Um, before we go any further, let us give the service to the one who has it in his hands. Um, so let us just pray and open up, yeah, and open up. Um, please assume whichever position you would like to assume in this time. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, thank you that we are in your presence. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here in your name. Thank you that you're in our midst. Lord, we pray that today everything may go according to your will. We come against any spirit of distraction, any spirit of confusion. Lord, Lord, we thank you that you have been in this place from the beginning and today we pray that your holy spirit may give us the revelations as the speaker is speaking lord heavenly father we thank you that this is worship unto you lord we pray that your righteousness may cover it all heavenly father thank you for this time in your presence in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed amen um that is that and we have officially opened this is day four of um thriving on reconciliation right here on rooted so what's been happening is we have been learning and finding out more about this word reconciliation reconciliation the ministry but there's been so much revelation that has been taking place so before we speak about what has been happening this week let me just tell you what thrive is all about thrive is a week that happens quarterly um here on Rooted, and it takes out one key principle in our journey with Christ that we try, um, that we bring speakers to talk about and they dissect. So there, there's been such a revelation on this principle, reconciliation, it being a ministry and it being a sign on its own of maturity on Monday shop. Um, Shemaine Kupane opened up and laid a solid foundation for us to go through this week and Gabriel Masalisa came through on Tuesday and yesterday was Apostle Sipo Magagula and they have been feeding us. Um, I like how everything has been a good progression from one word to another, you know, um, if you listened to yesterday and um, maybe you heard Apostle Magagula saying, yeah, God will judge the person um, that that, that did you wrong, but he will judge you if, if, if you don't keep to principle, right? If you don't keep mature as a Christian and keep to your principles, keep grounded, right? And you're like, oh, but then, oh, I don't understand this term judge. It was handled 
on Tuesday. Gabriel came and spoke about, um, in his sermon, part of it was how really um, judgment is righteous and it is a divine correction of God's people here on earth. So it, it, the progression has been so perfect that, that there hasn't been any reason for you to feel like you 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 missed something or even if if you are new to to the journey and maybe you haven't read much of the scripture the progression has been there to just keep you and hold you you know as as an individual as well i feel that every day has been there and has been perfect so today is another day Today is another day where we have the gorgeous Busikaba coming to share the word with us about this word um, reconciliation. So let me tell you who Busi is and let me share, right? So and this is what she says about herself. She says, I echo the words of Apostle Paul in Philippians 3 verse 7 to 14. Yet all the accomplishments that I have once created for, I have now forsaken them. And I regard it all as nothing compared to the delight of experiencing Jesus Christ as my Lord. My passion is to be consumed with him and not to cling to my own righteousness based in keeping the written law. My only righteousness will be his based on the faithfulness of Jesus Christ and the very righteousness that comes from God. And I'll continually long to know the wonders of Jesus, to experience the overflowing power of his resurrection working in me. Let me ignite you, um, let me ignite you in, let me ignite you to love your God-given purpose. So Busitaba is an actress, a minister, and the founder of Anavo Art Productions. So this is me. This is my introduction to the very gorgeous Busitaba. So wherever you are, clap that hand, give that little scream to welcome Busi Kava as she comes to share the word. Busi, take it away. Hi, everyone. Oh, to God be the glory. Thank you, Omo, for that introduction. Um, I am so excited. Can everyone hear me? Hello? We can hear you, sis. Perfect. All right. So everybody, I, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much to Pastor Tuto for asking uh, me to come along and uh, share on reconciliation. <laughs> Guys, when I actually got the invite much earlier on in the year, um, I've really been asking the Lord to help me and help me to have wisdom, you know, to use my time wisely. And so I've been getting into the habit just as a minister of the Lord, saying yes to everything because I'm so eager, you know, for the gospel of Jesus Christ to be out there. And I'm really just such a humble, eager, you know, vessel who's just like, Lord, if you can use a sheep, I'm here. Like, if you can use a cloth, I'm here. Like, you know, and um, so I'm just so glad that um, I ended up um, being part of this. So I'm so excited to share what the Lord has laid in my heart. When I spoke to Pastor Tuto, I was like, earlier in the week, I was like, yo, Pastor Tuto, actually, um, out of the topics that I've studied in the Bible, I've never really dived much into this topic. And so I'm so excited to hear what, you know, the now word God will give me um, to share um, with, with everyone. And so I'm so excited to, to share what um, the Lord has placed in my heart. So thank you so much. Uh, Pastor Tutu for, for inviting me over. Unfortunately, I was not able to join um, during the week because it was just conflicting with some of our church activities as well. Um, and so I did not hear what anybody else um, had to say, but I know that it's one in the same spirit. And when I, when I do get a, um, a moment, because I've been sent all the links, I will um, go and listen to what everyone else had to say. Um, and so I'm just going to open in a word of prayer. I know we opened in a word of prayer, but I just um, want to just pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, Spirit of the living God, we thank you so much. 
We thank you, Father, that we have such an opportunity to sit, my Father, at your feet, O God, and eat from the truths of your word, Lord Jesus, that we may grow therein. We thank you for this generation, O God, that you have given a sword to, my Father, which is your word, that, Father, we are going to thrive, my Father, with your word, that, Lord Jesus, you have given us yourself, my Father, the Logos, my God, that we may build a foundation, O God, in this generation, that, Lord God, they will know Christ Jesus, the hope of glory, through the foundation of his word, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to sit at your feet, O God, and hear hear from you, for, for, from you, oh Jesus, what you have to say, what you have to teach. We thank you, Father God, that we will not only be hearers of the word, but we will be doers of the word. We thank you, Father, for the spirit of the word in the mighty name of Jesus, that, Father, it, is, it was said in your word that as, as he spoke, the spirit entered into them. May, as I speak your word, may the spirit of the living God enter into your children, that, Father, it may be possible that we may live through your word, my father, your word being our anchor, my father, your word being our banner, oh God, and your word being the foundation, my father, and the standard for our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that I come against anything, oh God, that might block your children from hearing and doing in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, hearing and listening and doing in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for your spirit. Wonderful Holy Spirit, thank you for being here. And thank you for the word, my Father, that you've placed in my heart to share. I thank you, Lord God, that I will not hinder anything, my Father, that you have allowed me to say here today because of my mind. But Lord God, I will let your spirit, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, speak through me freely and minister to your children freely. Thank you for being who you are, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. All right. You know, guys, I must tell you guys something. Oh, I mean, yay. I saw a message saying amen. I was like, you know, this is going to be very strange if everybody's quiet because I don't know <laughs> if people can still hear me or oh, people are still here. But all right, I will check that messaging box. Amen and amen. So um, before I go anywhere, as I was meditating when um, the songs were, were, were being sung, the song that came to my spirit. Um, was I don't know if everybody knows it but I'll just sing it for two seconds um it says oh my tea god oh my tea god our generation shall praise your name 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 hallelujah all right i'm ready to share everyone and i hope you guys are ready too and i'm going to start out with um, a prophetic word that the Lord placed in my heart as I was preparing um, to share on here, because as I said, it is not a topic I have thoroughly studied throughout the word. Um, and so I was asking the Lord, what is the now word for this, for this topic? And this is what the Lord was saying to me. And he said to me, Busi, in this time, I am raising a generation that is going to reconcile all things back to me. And I thought, wow, that's powerful because the Lord was like, not only are, um, are all things going to be re reconciled to me, but even the body of Christ is going to be reconciled to me. And, and as the Lord was saying that, the, the sentence that kept dropping in my spirit was that we can only thrive in, con uh, in reconciliation if Jesus is the one who reconciles. So whether it is reconciling in relationships or in the body, if Jesus is the one reconciling, if he's the one mediating the reconciliation, if it is at his terms, then we are thriving in reconciliation. So that's just what um, I wanted to start with. Um, that is what the Lord placed 
in my heart. And, you know, then the Lord said to me that he came for reconciliation. And the first scripture that I would like to go into here is 2 Corinthians 5, verses 18. And it reads, now all things are made from God, excuse me, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And I was like, the ministry of reconciliation? <laughs> Guys, I've probably read these scriptures because I've studied these books in the Bible, but they all just popped up to me in such a new way. And I was like, what? God gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And then from there, the spirit of the Lord spoke to me about John 3 verse 16. And I hope I'm not speaking fast. Apparently, I have a problem of going too quickly. All right, so let me read 2 Corinthians 5, 18 again. It says, now all these things are, are from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, okay? And when I looked at the word reconciliation and the meaning of reconciliation, um, it actually means change. And I was very surprised, but let me not go ahead of myself. So then the spirit of the Lord dropped the scripture in, in my spirit, John 3, verses 16, right? And it says, now we are speaking of why Jesus came, right? It says, for God so loved the world, ne? okay, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, cool. Now, I just want us to just zoom in there. It says, for God so loved the world, all right? So here it's speaking of the world. The word world there in Greek is actually cosmos, right? And cosmos um, actually doesn't speak of like the, 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 the earth, really. It actually speaks of systems. So cosmos speaks of systems. So if you look deeply into the word cosmos, it means order, right? So it means that for God so loved the world, right, which is the cosmos, um, the order, the system of nature and humankind that he gave a gift of Jesus to reconcile things back to himself. And so I was like, Lord, what are you saying here? And I was like, so the ministry of reconciling, of, of reconciliation that the Lord gave to us was that he gave us his son, Jesus, right? So he died so that when we receive him, whatever we come into contact with to do, either with our hands or to, to be in contact with, either with people must be given back to him because everything is made for him, because the word of God says nothing was made that was made without him. And I hope everybody understands me here. Let me go slower. John 3 verse, uh, verse 16, for God so loved the world, the cosmos, you guys, ne? the cosmos, which means systems. So when I speak about systems, it means the order of things, the way we do school, okay? The systems of school, the systems of the media, the systems of the government, right, that he gave his only begotten son. So God did not only just die for us people. He knew that giving us the world and putting us here, we would have to have systems in order to survive, okay? And I hope everybody can hear what I'm saying today, is that we would have to put together systems as people from our own intelligence, right, to make sure that the running of the world will continue. But then here's what God is saying, is that God just didn't die for the soul of mankind, because you see the soul of mankind, right, is nurtured by environment, is nurtured by systems. And so we can be children of God and our souls can be saved, right? And that's beautiful. That's what definitely God came for. But he did not only come for that. He came that when your soul is saved, you will save everything through him that comes around you. And I mean systems. I mean, when you're at work, that system, right? You need the spirit of the living God to operate at a level where you will save that system, that things will operate according to his standard. In that way, all things will be reconciled back to God. I hope everybody can understand what I'm saying. Please, everyone, by, by a show of hands, I, are you following me? Uh, is, is everybody understanding what I'm saying? And so God did not just die for souls because then that is a misrepresentation of the gospel. That is a misrepresentation of the gospel. God just did not die for our souls. That our souls are very important. Actually, God died for our souls so that our will 
might be that we submit to his will and that every place whether it's relationship in marriage, whether it's it's being a boss, a CEO, a worker, you would take that back to him so that it would function the way he desires, so that everything would go back to him, would be reconciled back to him. The system and the order that we see in Genesis when Jesus put Adam in the garden is just the same system as when God puts you at Standard Bank or at NetBank, at SABC. It's the same thing. He, he places you there to create an Eden. Are you understanding? The word of God tells us that in Eden, Adam walked with God in the cool of day. That's just a representation, the cool of day, just a representation of every other day. Adam walked with God. Every other day, Adam would walk with God. And that would mean he would submit to God. And submitting to God means there would be order in the environment that God placed him in. And that would mean God then had right over where Adam was. And that's all God wants to do. He wants to con reconcile the right that he initially we would have, like we, he intended for us to submit to him so that everything would run according to the way he wants it to run. I hope you're understanding me um, today. I really hope you're understanding me. Let's read the scripture so that the people must say she is not blaspheming, okay? Or oh, speaking heresy. Uh, what is this one? Second Corinthians 5, 19, right? Same scripture, second Corinthians 5, 18, just the next verse, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not counting their trespasses against them. And he has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Now, I want to say something here, the word of reconciliation. Guys, can you still hear me? Because I can't see you. Okay, yes, you can. All right. So I want to explain something there, the word of reconciliation. So in the, in the, in the, in the Hebrew, in the Greek, the word the word word has two meanings. It can either be logos or it can either be um, rhema, right? Excuse me, everyone. I lost my notes. Yes. So namely God has, yes, to us, the word of reconciliation. The word of reconciliation, I believe the word there should be logos because Jesus was given, right? For us to have reconciliation and so like I said in the beginning thriving in reconciliation is dependent on Jesus being the one reconciling everything it has to be on his terms it has to be on his terms so it's like with with the word that the Lord is saying I'm, I should share today is that previously God had you know access full access to influence decisions that we make to influence us right and what God is looking to do is to reconcile that is to reconcile that dependent relationship right that when we are saved everything around us should be saved and I hope we understand that is that you cannot be a child of God a citizen of the kingdom of God and not reconcile your job to God I hope we understand what I'm saying. You cannot be a child of God, a kingdom citizen, and not reconcile your career to God, your industry to God. I said the other day, I was praying for someone at the prayer line at, at my church, and she came up to me. And so... a word of wisdom came from me to pray for me my phone just rang. um she wanted me to pray for her because she wasn't doing well in her career and so I said to her um the spirit of the lord said I should ask her do you pray for the industry you are trying to enter into you know and she said no she doesn't pray for it at all and it's like the lord was saying to me my children don't understand that wherever they go they are sent you are sent in relationships you are sent you are sent to reconcile. That is the ministry that the Lord has placed on our lives. You are sent to reconcile. 
you are sent to reconcile what is now the world standard, the world view, what is now sitting on like um, doctrines of man in the church, we are sent to reconcile to God's original intent. And I hope you understand what I'm saying here today. And please, <laughs> I'm a child of God. I'm very humble. If you feel like what I'm speaking here is heresy, please go and test the spirit and ask the spirit of the Lord to, 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 to reveal to you what, what I'm saying, if it is of God. I want to read a scripture here um, that speaks. Um, okay, yes, please give me one second. My notes. But are we hearing what I'm saying? Please, I hope you are hearing what I am saying this evening to you. I hope you are hearing what I'm saying. I hope you are hearing what I'm saying. Okay. I want to read Romans 8, verses 19. And I'm going to read it in the NLT. Okay. Are you with me, everybody? Mm. Okay. Two seconds, you guys. Sorry. Uh, NLT. Okay, and it says, okay, I'll read the NLT and I'll read another version. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his true children really are. And I like other translations that says, for creation is eagerly waiting for the full manifestation of the sons of God. Okay, and so the world, creation, everything, like, you know, when I check that reconciliation also means change, okay? And yes, it also does mean that when something was one way and then it became another way, all right? Um, and then it comes reconciled and, and sort of goes back to its original form or um, is, is a, a, a mutual ground is found, right? A mutual positive ground to move forward is found. Creation is waiting for that. It is waiting for us as children of God to reconcile things all back to God. It is waiting um, for, to, for, for, the, for the systems of this world, all right, to be changed back to what God originally intended them to, to be. You know, the other day um, I was with my, um, I was with um, one of my, I was with my nephew, and he was telling me about something that they're teaching them at school. Hey, and I was very, very um, unsettled about what was is being taught in the system of schools. So I heard that from my nephew. And then, you know, I shelved it and I thought, Lord Jesus, I have to really pray uh, for the school system. Um, and then I then heard something else from my little sister. And she was saying they have a project and they need to build something that's, and it's completely spiritual this thing is spiritual and it is not christ standard at all and i was like i listened to what my nephew uh, uh, told me about what what they were teaching them and um my little sister as well and i was like this is nonsense and i was like in back in my day we actually had assembly where you know school would be actually they'd teach us the word and all that stuff and yes not everybody believes in 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 god and yes people have decided to go in their own way that's fine but the mission and the ministry that is upon our lives is we must fight the systems we must fight the systems through prayer we must contend the systems so that they go back to god that is the ministry the lord has placed um on our lives. And I know my sermon might be, or my, my teaching might be completely a little bit different from what um, the other people might have shared, but I believe that one in the same spirit, um, maybe this is just the prophetic word that the Lord wanted me to share today. And I hope that's okay, Pastor Tuto, but that's literally what the Lord um, was speaking to me about. I thought he's going to touch on friendships, you know, like people you've 
you know, had fell out of relation with before, how to go back and all that stuff. And, but literally, this is what the Lord laid in my heart, that we need to reconcile all things to him. We must seek out his standard in everything that we do. And so that his standard can be the foundation and that he will win back the world he will win back how everything is done. We can even see how our ecosystem is doing. We can see how, how nature is, 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 is sort of is, is, you know, as I don't know if this is an English word, discontent, but it's not content, you know, because we have we have created systems that do not cooperate with how God intended things to be. Now we have to reconcile things back to him so that he, you know the world can know that they are citizens of God's kingdom on this earth and we are bringing back order and change. Um, and so I hope everybody <laughs> um, heard that word. And I really ask you to go and ask the Lord, you know, if you've heard this word today and you're like, hmm, I don't know, um, go and ask the Lord, go and seek the word of God and, um, and hear what the Lord um, is, is saying. And that is all I have to share. Um, for today thank you thank you thank you thank you so much sis thank you so much for sharing that word with us I also have no cheating so I have to use all the lighting I have including my <laughs> screen lighting <laughs> but um, thank you so much for sharing that word and your quest the answer to your question whether um, you were on track, you were right on track. You literally just added on to what Apostle Sipo said yesterday. Wow. And it was just, it's, it's a progression and we are here mm -hmm. to read, like I, I'm, I'm in awe of witnessing all of this. I love how God is true and his word is true, you know, mm -hmm. because you said you didn't listen to any of the messages, but you're right on. Like it's, it's, it's perfect because it's, it falls right onto what we were learning about. It's like, have you, like, you know how a textbook is set up, but the teachers yes. have never, have never met, nor are they studying from the same textbook, but somehow mm -hmm. the, the content leads perfectly. So thank yes. you so much for coming and just teaching us and thank you for being obedient to the Holy Spirit about the word that he placed um, in your heart to come and share with us. We are blessed and um, we, we are re refreshed. Thank you so much, Busi Kaba, right? Um, in this time, I would like to ask if anyone would like to say something in addition to the word, ask a question, um, speak to Ms. Gava, um, anything really. Um, and this will be like in five, four, three, two, one, you know, just raise your hand and I will note you. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. I believe that um, no one has anything to say at this point. We are going to go straight into worship. We have live worship by um, Pastor John. Um, Pastor John, are you ready? Please give me a thumbs up in the chat box. And if you're ready, yes, then let's I get am straight. ready. Okay, then let's get straight. Yes, I am it. ready. Thank you very much. Apologies to everyone and for the minister of the day, I really love the word and I believe the word is for this season. I don't know if I am clear enough. Everyone can hear me. We can hear you. Oh, wow. Wow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you so much for this honor to be on this platform. I really I really can't take it from granted. But there's a song that has been ringing in my heart right from today. And it goes like this. Casting crowns, lifting hands, bowing hearts is all we've come to do. Casting crowns, lifting hands, Bowing not is all we've come to do. I don't know. I don't know. 
Adonai, you reign on high. Adonai, 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 you reign on high. Lord, we will rise in your name. Adonai, you reign on high. Lord, we will rise in your name. Adonai, you reign on high. We say casting crowns, lifting hands. Bowing not is all we've come to do. Casting crowns, lifting hands. Bowing not is all we've come to do. I don't know. I don't know. Adonai, 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 you reign on earth. We say you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God, oh, you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. You never leave me, you said that you wouldn't forsake me. Yes, Lord, you are beside me, and that is all that matters. You never leave me. You said that you wouldn't forsake me. Lord, you are beside me, and that is all that matters. The sun will smite me, even the moon will not hurt me. Oh, the flood will sweep me. The Lord is my anchor. The sun will smite me. Even the moon will not hurt me. Oh, the flood will sweep me. The Lord is my anchor. So you are, you are the covenant keeping God. Yes, Lord, you are the covenant keeping God. Yeah, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yes, Lord, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Lord, you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Oh, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Say, Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, 
your name upon me breathe oh just breathe your name upon me breathe oh lord your hey wa hey is your name breathe lord just breathe your name upon me breathe hallelujah God most high, Jesus Christ, hello, Israel, hallelujah, God most high, you are Jesus Christ, you are hello, Israel, we say hallelujah, God most high, you are Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Israel, one more time, hallelujah, God most high, Jesus Christ, you are hallelujah, Israel, hallelujah, Israel. God most high, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we bow down. And worship Yahweh. Oh Lord, we bow down and worship Yahweh. We more time to say we bow down. And will share Yahweh. Oh Lord, we bow down and worship 
Yahweh, oh la, Yahweh, 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 oh Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, one more time we say Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Yahweh. This will be my last song. Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah, Agunechemba. Yeshua, Amashia, Lion of Judah. Agune Chemba Yeshua Amashia Lion of Judah Agune Chemba Yeshua Amashia Lion of Judah Agunechimba. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you Hallelujah. So, so much, Pastor John. That was such a blessing. Hallelujah. Oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, yeah, that was simply beautiful. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that was Pastor John Adiwele Akwinyumi, right, born in Wishina, the state, um, in Lagos State, Nigeria. He was born again in September the 18th, 2019. He is now a worshiper and a teacher of God's word in the body of Christ. So thank you so much, um, Pastor John, for gracing us and for sharing that beautiful piece or rather yeah that hallelujah hallelujah uh, 2009 yeah. woman of god <laughs> 2009 2009 yes thank you so so much um and yeah that was our worship session we are progressing towards the end of um, this this thrive on reconciliation. But once again, I want to open the floor to anyone who really wants to say anything um, today based on the word, um, their own personal revelations while Ms. Busikaba was speaking, literally anything. The floor is open for the next few seconds or so, but please just raise your hand and I will note you. I think for me, like I said in the beginning, and now it's just how um, the, it's, it's always just the progression. I'm gonna keep saying this because really it's, it's what's, what's there for me, you know, um, how the, the words have been flowing into each other. Today we were learning about how um, we need to reconcile the systems of the world back to God. You know, and just before that, yesterday, um, um, Apostle Sipa Magagula was speaking about how we are going to champion, or rather Africa is going to be reconciled back, right? But only um, through through us be understanding reconciliation. So the word is not haikagala, it's not far from each other. It's literally synchronized. It's, listen, flowing springs of water i am i i am enjoying this week i really am and i pray that after this week i may be able to apply each and every word um that that i 
have heard, and I pray this for each and every one of you as well, because outside of the word that the words that have been shared, we we have just learned. A, um, Apostle Magula also said yesterday that um, understanding um, kingdom principle means that you understand also that there's a kingdom benefit that comes with that. So with us understanding, may your kingdom come. With us understanding, may your kingdom come and understanding that reconciliation is literally, or rather the, the ministry of reconciliation is literally working towards that prayer. I, now, this week has been a blessing. <laughs> and I, I am one to, to have a lot to say, but I am rendered speechless. Um, I'm rendered speechless. And I'm guessing that is the end of today. This, that is the end of day four. Right here on Rooted, we are still thriving on reconciliation. And tomorrow is the last day. Please do join us as we are going to close up this week. Um, if you have just joined and you electricity <laughs> electricity um if you have just um joined and you have not heard of rooted ministries we are on all social media platforms furthermore we have a whatsapp group where you can leave your your numbers by rooted and you'll be added to the group where you get all the notifications and the links to these sermons um, Monday sermon is up, Tuesday sermon is up, yesterday sermon is up, and this one will be up first thing tomorrow morning. So you can catch up and maybe in a few months down the line, if you really, really want to remind yourself of something that was said during these sessions, you can still go back to our YouTube channels and really learn and just revive yourself. You know, it is the word, it is living, it is living and listen, our Lord still speaks. Um, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, Sis Busi, may you please close for us in prayer. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor John. Is it John? For the for the worship. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. I'm closing a word of prayer, Dad. Thank you so much, Dad, for um, this opportunity, Lord Jesus. Lord, may you bless the people, my Father, that are organizing this, those, my Father, who are steadfast, praying, Lord Jesus, for the body, praying for those who are far, my Father, from you who have not seen, my Father, the promises, Lord Jesus, of being saved, my Father, of receiving you as our Father, as our Lord, as our Savior. We thank you so much for their lives, oh God, may you continue to bless them, my Father, may you continue to strengthen them, my Father, may you mount them up, my Father, um, with wings like eagles, my Father, may they walk and not be weary my father in the mighty name of jesus may you bless their ministry my father we also pray that all those people that must be um, um blessed by this ministry we pray my father may they take note my father may they see this ministry may they connect with it in the mighty name of jesus so they may grow thereby in your word therefore father we thank you for everything that has been shared from monday till today and even what is going to be shared tomorrow that father it will be consistent with your word and that Father God, we will be rooted, my Father, in your word and be able to, to work and live, my Father, by your word. We thank you so much, Father God, as we everybody goes to bed. We thank you, Father God, that may you speak to us, oh God. May you continue what we have started here into um, our dreams, oh God, and into the rest of the weekend and our lives. We bless you so much for every individual that has heard the word today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we close this session and we thank you for what's going to take place tomorrow. What a good God you are. We give you all the honor and the adoration, my Father. May you continue to bring us, my Father, to you. And may you continue to be the center and the pivot of which our lives turn. We thank you for who you are, Dad. We glorify you. We lift your name on high, Dad. You are so precious. You are everything we, we need, oh God. We thank you for your word. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you so much, sis. Thank you to each and every one that joined this evening. Tomorrow evening, same time, same place. We love you. <laughs>